Well, I was uh, woken up very unexpectedly and I groped around for the phone and, uh, and then somebody on the phone identified himself and uh, told me that I had been awarded the Nobel Prize and my initial reaction was to think of how I could ask him if he was really joking, but he anticipated me and uh, said that they would verify it in writing and on the website in a while, and uh, so I had a feeling this was probably genuine. And so I was very sort of dazed and uh, kind of semi-disbelieving for a while, and, and then as the phone calls started coming in, I realized that it, it, was, it certainly was real. I never was somebody that had a long-term plan. I wasn't somebody that had like a five-year plan or anything like that. I just really enjoy being able to follow what I'm most interested in. And that's what I did when I went into biology as a, an undergraduate major, and I learned that I was interested in laboratory science, and then I followed what was most interesting, and that led me to the telomere. And it's been great to have this freedom to pursue this curiosity-driven science, because that's what I like to do. I like to follow the next most interesting thing. It's incredibly exciting uh, that Liz and Carol Greider and Jack Shostak were chosen for the Nobel Prize this year. It's very exciting for us at the AACR because Liz is the president-elect. Uh, Carol Greider is a member of the association as well. Um, the work is a wonderful example of the investment in basic research, basic cancer research. Um, these investigators were interested in the structures at the end of chromosomes and how they're replicated as well as the enzymes that carry out that uh, replication. Well, I'm excited about telomeres and telomerase because they, uh, they represent a way in which our genome, our genetic material, is, is protected in a very crucial fashion. And when this goes awry, then all sorts of things can happen. It seems to you know, be a harbinger of early onset of diseases of aging. And when it goes awry, things can go wrong in ways that can promote cancer. And so that excites me from the cancer research point of view very much. In the beginning when we worked on it, it was very much an, a problem, a fundamental problem of how cells work, how they protect their genetic material, how they even maintain their chromosomes. And, uh, and then finding a new enzyme that did this just cast such an interesting new light on the question of how, how, you know, how, how cells work. And so here you have a perfect example of how a basic, a, a basic scientists with their fundamental interest have evolved a discovery that now is probably going to impact the lives of patients. And it brings out the excitement of science which is what we want really young people to know about. We made this discovery uh, back 25 years ago, and it was a really important fundamental discovery. But since then, working together with all of my colleagues in the field, the ramifications have become more and more clear. And of course, the war awards go to something where the implications, the medical implications are clear, although the initial discovery was made 25 years ago. So I really want to celebrate together with all of my colleagues in the telomere field, because really it's an award uh, to the entire field, um, all of us together. We still have a lot to learn and how we approach cancers, you know, that's going to be an evolving, uh, an evolving thing as we're learning more about what does and doesn't work in applying treatments, then the basic research that has to feed into that in the future is really, really going to be crucial and that's what the AACR is good at, is making sure that the strong research is, is, is you know, is what's emphasized.